Hey there, Corporate Misfits, and welcome to the series Mastering Kajabi in 21 Days. I'm so excited to share with you about how you can use Kajabi in your online coaching, your course creation, or membership business so that you can build a life of freedom and stop trading time for money. So if you are new around here, my name is Brittany Darrington and I'm the founder of the Corporate Misfit Community and I help women to build their online business using platforms like Kajabi so that they can automate, create sales with ease and ultimately build their courses and coaching business and sharing their expertise with their tribe. So in this series, we're going to talk all about how to use Kajabi inside and out, the perks of using Kajabi and how it can really change your life. So if you have not tried out Kajabi yet, I do have a trial which supports this channel. And also you can get some amazing resources such as landing pages that we have designed for you, such as sales pages, thank you pages, opt-in, and also some registration and tripwire pages. In addition to that, you can get access to our mini training, which is our beta launch club, which allows you to learn how to launch a online course or a coaching business in just 30 days. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right into what we're gonna talk about in today's lesson. Okay, so when most people are looking for a CRM for their coaching program, which is a, a, a platform that will allow you to be able to gather the needed information for your audience, then this is definitely a platform to help you with your coaching and your courses. So most of the time you would probably outsource this onto some of the other platforms that exist to help you collect the information needed and learn more about the people you are connecting with. But this will allow you to be able to take notes um, to be able to segment and understand who's a member, who's not a member, and so much more. So when you're in Kajabi, you're going to want to make your way down to all people. Because at the end of the day, this is kind of where your CRM is going to be placed. It's where you're going to be able to see what products people have. You're going to be able to see notes that you might have take, taken or your team might have, might have taken. Um, you're also going to be able to see tags. Um, what they opted into and so much more. And it really helps you to better understand your customer and see behind the scenes rather than just being able to see the front end that they opted in. So from the back end, once you make your way to the Kajabi platform, you're gonna go to all people. And when you go to all people, you have the opportunity to really segment this in a way that will allow you to understand who is on the screen while you're looking at it. You can segment it to where it's all people. That means anyone who's ever opted into any of your opt-ins, your lead magnets, um, a webinar, anything along those lines, purchased a product, they're all gonna show here. If it's just members, meaning they have some connection to your actual products, then you're going to see them here. And subscribed means that they just are on your email list. Doesn't mean that they necessarily purchased, they could have opted into a lead magnet or some of the other things that you might've had, events and things along those lines, but they are just subscribed and they have not hit the unsubscribe button yet. And then the inactive, this is where people are not necessarily taking any action. They're not really opening emails, but they have not unsubscribed from your email list yet. And then there is the hard bounce. This is where this person's email is not going through and not registering. And so you're getting a bounce back every single time you send them an email, which I always recommend clean up your hard bounces if for any reason it's just not working after multiple emails and then you're excluded. So this will allow you to kind of segment who's going to be on this page when you're looking at it so that ultimately when you're going into your CRM of your back end of Kajabi, you then have a better understanding of what's on this page. So for right now, it's just me on this page. And so since it's just me, I'm going to basically show you what you can see on the back end and then also break down the filters, how to understand that and how to sort things out. So first things first, before you start going into filters, what are you looking for, right? What kind of information are you looking for? So if I were to click me, so one thing that you might be looking for is what is my customer's life cycle? How much are they spending with me? How long have they been a member? What, what is it about what I'm doing that is resonating with them? So when you're looking at the life cycle, this is a really great opportunity for you to see what they opted into, such as maybe your lead magnets, 
what they opened, if they opened that particular email, um, any submissions that they might have had, such as like a, a form or maybe they attended a live event, things like that. You can see all of that here. Now, if I didn't open your email, it would not say opened, which is a really great way for you to better understand, hey, is this email connecting? If I'm noticing that a lot of people aren't opening this email, I can learn more about my customers and be able to connect with them in a way that helps me to write better copy to be able to connect with them. Um, you can also see if there's purchases. You can see the net revenue that this person has spent with you. I like to look at this because it allows me to see who's my VIP clients. And whenever you have VIP clients, this is a great way for you to reach out to them. Maybe when you have a new product, get their advice, get their feedback. I like to ask for everyone's feedback, but ultimately, if you wanna take it a step further, because these people do buy from you, you can reach out to these individuals, maybe individually, and just ask them some questions about maybe your products or future things that you're looking to have within your community. Now let's look at info. Okay, so info is basically going to include that, yes, I added myself to a form, I'm subscribed. If I wanted to unsubscribe a customer, maybe this customer is causing some issues or, or things like that. Maybe every time you email them, they don't know how to unsubscribe themselves and they're emailing you back and forth saying like, get me off your email list, things like that. That happens every once in a while, not, not very common, but it is very once in a while. Then what you can do is unsubscribe that person. So you don't have to worry about accidentally ending up in their inbox and things along those lines. Purchases. Now, this is really great for you to know what someone has purchased. You'll see any products that they have granted access to, and you'll be able to identify maybe some of the products that you can create for a future because you're able to see like these products resonate well with my audience. Um, and so that's purchases. Same thing with products. You'll kind of see the same similar information here. So your purchase is going to show what they purchased and also how much they paid. And your product is just going to say, these are the products that they have access to. So they're very similar, but this is gonna provide some more insight, such as did they pay with Stripe? Did they pay with PayPal? All of that good stuff. It's just gonna provide some more insight to how they went about their purchase, what time of day did they purchase, all of that good stuff. So more nitty gritty behind the actual checkout and this will be the product that is more associated with that. And then notes. This is a really great way for you to leave notes. Maybe you have multiple people in your team and let's say a customer has a question or they're, they're finding that things aren't working and they're emailing someone. It's a great way for you to take notes and include them here and then add that note. So then anyone can go and look at that person's account and read those notes if need be. Now, some of the other things to look at are tags. So you can see all the tags that are associated with that person. And ultimately, you can better understand maybe even what sequences they're in based off of their tags and whatnot. Okay, so let's say you needed to edit the details. Maybe the details that they provided is incorrect. Maybe they changed their last name or maybe they want to give you their phone number, things like that. You can include all of these fields that are right for you and that you want to include within the CRM. Once you're done, you always hit save, but then let's make our way now back to more actions. So for example, let's say you wanna hide this client. You can hit hide. Let's say you wanna hide the, maybe you want to hide a product you don't necessarily want them to see a specific product anymore. You can go to hide, you can go to grant offers where you offer a client a product. Maybe something didn't work on the back end of technology. And for some odd reason, they did not get the automation to join a specific program. You can go to grant offers, and then that allows you to offer that person something. And let's say if I hit hide, let's just look at this too, because I want to make sure you can see. So if I say hide, then basically I'm hidden. So I'm no longer showing, I'm no longer getting all the stuff that needs to be, you can't find me in the CRM basically. So we're gonna unhide me so that I can find myself, but that's just something you can do if you want to hide someone. Delete contact. So if this customer, you need to get them off, that means that you want to delete them. You can delete them, but here's the thing I want you to know anything that they have purchased, any product and all of that kind of stuff, it's going to come out of your overall total of what you've made on Kajabi because it can't register that this person has purchased anything anymore and they can't read those numbers. So just keep 
um, keep this in mind. I would not recommend deleting a contact. If you do delete a contact, make sure their, their net revenue is zero so that you don't see your sales changing and your over uh, overall sales. I've done this before and I was like, why are our numbers off? So just keep that in mind. Okay, so now that you know behind the scenes, if you were to click on somebody now, let's make our way to better understanding the filters. So if you wanted to filter out, let's say by a category, you can filter out by, let's say, activity. You wanna know who has actually been participating in your course, or maybe an assessment, who has taken an assessment so you can read the results, or who has actually utilized the coupon that you have provided, or customer fields, who have completed these customer fields so maybe you can learn more about your customers, or even email activity, who has been opening your emails, or email broadcast, who has opened your email broadcast, or who's opened the email sequence, who's attended an event, who's actually submitted a form, an offer, people, products, tags, the list goes on, right? So you can filter what it is you're looking to gather and collect. For right now, I'm just gonna go to email sequence. I wanna know either what one, are you subscribed to an email sequence or not subscribed? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit email sequence, subscribe to, and then I'm going to select one of the different email sequences that are in place. So if you have signed up, let's say I hit there, apply filter. So for right now, I don't have anyone signed up to this email sequence that I just recently filtered out. But if I did have someone, then those results would be showing right here. Now, if I wanna start over from scratch, I'm gonna to go to filters and then just go to the next category. Or maybe I have more filters associated. So for example, let's say email activity condition is, um, was opened and then I'm going to say the last 90 days. So if I hit apply, so basically no one has opened anything in the last 90 days because it's just me on here. But if I didn't have just me, if I had multiple people, I can see who has not opened an email in the last 90 days so that I can properly be able to connect with them. So not only is this a CRM, it's a great way for you to better understand your marketing as well and also be able to quickly identify your clients easily within the back end of your platform without having to have it somewhere else. So I want you to play around with these filters. Now, if you had more filters associated, you can go to add filter. And as you apply more filters, it will just basically narrow down who is on that particular um, CRM of what it is that you are looking for. And it kind of weeds out the people who are not falling within these filters. If you ever find yourself not wondering why you can't get back to your regular screen, make sure you click the X on the filters and it will take you back to the main screen and you're rocking and rolling. Okay, so have fun with this amazing CRM feature within Kajabi. It allows you to just really know your audience and be able to get to connect easily. Um, if you need to sort by any reason, there's some sort opportunities here by A through Z or the oldest to newest, all that good stuff. And then you can play around by jumping from page to page by clicking these buttons as well. If you need to make more, such as 100 people are on a page versus it just being 25, you can do that too and then go through those different features that I just shared with you to better understand your customers and how you can serve them and provide the utmost value, okay? Thanks so much for watching this video and make sure you access your trial to Kajabi and those free amazing resources that we have for you, such as the pre-designed landing pages and the mini course on how to launch your first course in just 30 days, okay? I'll see you in some of the upcoming videos.